Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're going on a uh, 2006 Volvo XC90. So right now, the problem is uh, whenever I shift it to drives, it would uh, pop into the uh, manual mode here. And it's very uh, loose, kind of like a lot of free play. So to pop this tray out, you're going to use a uh, flathead uh, screwdriver right here. And you're going to shove it down here and pry it up. Once you pry it up, this part should pop out with the uh, cover also. And then from there, for the uh, shift knob, you're going to have to uh, kind of put a little bit of pressure. So you're going to get it up a little bit, but try not to go crazy. Because uh, after you get it out, there's wires uh, that's hooked onto it. And when you come to this tray right here, this bottom tray, there's six bolts that's holding onto it. Two right here. There's two right here. The two little bolts. And then from the back, there's two more holding onto it. After that, comes out to the shifter. Now, you can see, once you uh, pull it up, you can see there's the wires that's hooked onto it. Uh, don't know how to disconnect these, but uh, I'm just going to leave it there. It's the uh, part number for the uh, shifter claw repair kit right here. So this is all the kit. Uh, to get this uh, top piece out, um, at the bottom right here, there's a uh, tab that's holding onto it. So you're going to use a uh, two flathead screwdriver. So you're going to, at the same time, you're going to push this and then have the other one down here to pry it up. But uh, the reason why I have this on is because when you uh, pop it up, it tends to uh, kind of like pop back. So I have another flathead right here to hold it, uh, so it won't pop back down, but uh, you're going to work your way around it. There's uh, two on this side too. Press on that tab, shove it down, and pry it up. See how it pops up? But once you pull out the uh, flathead, it's going to pop back down. So I'm going to leave it there and work my way around on the other one. The little hook right here that's holding on to it. So press on this tab and pry it up. Once you get that out, uh, notice how the spring sits, the cap, the uh, yellow claw on the spring, and the spring behind it sits like that. You can see, now move the uh, shifter out of the way. And for this, you're gonna shove the flat head down, pry it up, there you go, and it springs out. So, get the spring out. Kinda, you can see it hooks on, it has a little hook 90 degree that hooks onto the uh, little slot right here. It's gonna break because it's very old plastic, but don't worry because you're gonna be replacing it. The new kit has a new one. Dang, this thing is hard. Now, once you get that out, black piece comes off and the uh, spring the yellow claw right here oh it's broken no wonder so I found the other piece down here uh, it broke off that's the claw that's holding onto the shifter now this is the new one the pin the uh, black piece and then the uh, two new spring now I'm gonna put it back this bottom part goes to this this yellow part and the other half you're gonna fit it in here at the same time but uh it's kind of hard so you're gonna have it like this i have my other part the black piece and i'm gonna you see i have how i have it hooked in a little bit now let's see i'm gonna try to get that to snap in there you go now you can see snapped into the yellow piece and it's also snapped in to the black part now I'm gonna work my way to get it to open and uh, clamps into the uh, shifter right here it would be nice if I have a third hand but it's kind of hard uh, I found a better way a little bit better to uh, get the claw to spread I use my uh, plier shove it in and I'm gonna 
get it to sit. Come on. There you go. Now grab your uh, pin. There you go. There you go. Now you can see how I did it. So I shoved my uh, plier in between the claw to get it to open and then uh, line it up with the uh, pin that's on this shifter right here. Snap it down and then uh, push the uh, shifter in and then you're going to push your uh, pin on top to lock it. For the outside pin, you're going to hook it in first. So go from this way, you're going to hook it in. Now you're going to rotate it. Now make sure it goes up on this and snap down in between those pins. It's kind of hard. There you go. After you got everything in, that's how exactly how it sits. Let me show you the other side. That's how it sits. Now I have the car on right now. So you can see park. I'm gonna pull it down, reverse, neutral, drives. And then this side would be the manual, up and down, up, down, work also. So pop it back to drive. Neutral, reverse, park. So that's it. Works pretty good. See how solid the uh, shifter now? Before it was very uh, loose. So before I can yank it back and forth, now it's very solid. So, and it stays in gear. So that's very good. Uh, you're just gonna snap it back and have the shifter on neutral. So line up all the mark. There you go. The shifter piece and the uh, outside piece right here. You're gonna press it down where you can see all the hook hooked into the uh, place right here. And then the uh, little stick right here goes into here. It only goes one way. So make sure the shifter is facing forward and slide it down. There you go. Fix this piece. Make sure it go forward in. Snap it down. There you go. Press this down all the way. There you go. And I'm gonna check it one more time. There you go. You can see. I don't know if you can see it. It's in park. Reverse neutral and drive so that's it for this video guys so if you guys like my video leave it a thumbs up comment down below ask me anything you want to ask me i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe i'll keep everybody updated but that's it guys i'll see you on the next video peace